Hope y'all been paying attention to that media gang. Because now that Diddy's been sued by Cassidy for 30 mil and he settled it outside of court over some heinous accusations, we now have a president, a former president of Bad Boy Records known as Han Pierre, who's also being sued for similar crimes, except it's an ex-assistant. Here's what the assistant is suing him for. It says, it appears that the Bad Boys are allegedly living up to their names. According to a report by Rolling Stone, a former president of Bad Boy Entertainment is being sued by his ex-assistant for using his position of authority as her boss to groom, exploit, and sexually assault her. Per report, Hans Pierre, the former president of Bad Boy, is accused of preying on the Jane Doe plaintiff on multiple occasions in New York City and other locations throughout the country. He is accused of sexually harassing the plaintiff for over a year before allegedly sexually assaulting her. She says during the years of 2016 to 2017, she suffered physical, emotional, and psychological injuries along with pain and suffering. The woman is asking for damages that will fully and fairly compensate her. This news comes less than a week after Diddy was accused of rape and sex trafficking by singer Cassie. Pierre met Diddy when they were students at Howard University. So if we're gonna put two and two together, we have to assume there's gonna be no more Bad Boy reunion tours coming anytime soon. There's about to be a lot of cancellations, whether this is true or not. One thing's for certain, if these type of accusations get put on your jacket, a lot of things are not gonna go well. You're gonna lose sponsorships, endorsement deals, brand deals, etc. Everyone is gonna wanna part ways with you. I tell you what though, this is officially tarnishing the Bad Boy brand. Like, any legacy that Bad Boy has had is going to be overshadowed by this right here. It's going to ruin it. Any more people come out, this is going to get uglier before it gets good. I'm just saying, if there's more people that plan on coming out, this is going to be the biggest story of 2023. How do y'all feel about this? Y'all think that these women are out here for a cash grab, or do you believe that every exec here at Bad Boy Records is up to no good and have been doing very traumatizing things to these women?